Hey guys, what's up? In my last video, I said that I'd show you guys my uh, little sharpening kit here that I uh, keep in this Zippo tin here. Sometimes when you buy a Zippo, it comes in a metal tin. So I uh, decided to use it for my sharpening kit. Keep it all secured with a Ranger band. And uh, in here, I just have a sharpening stone. You could pick one of these up at like a Walmart or any a sporting goods store with a camping section nice and small here fits perfectly into the tin and then I just had a uh, had an old leather belt that I picked up from a uh, thrift store and I cut the end of it off and I glued it to a piece of wood that way I can strop the edges of my knives uh, when I'm out in the field just to rehome them sort of and so I use it I just hit the edge of the blade several times like that on both sides here. Kind of awkward doing this around the camera, but uh, you get the idea. Just do that and it brings the edge back to life and uh, works pretty good. Uh, some might argue that it'll be a lot easier just to take if you wear a leather belt, just to take that belt, wrap it around a tree limb, and strap your knife that way, but for me that's kind of a pain. I carry a, a firearm as well as a knife with me in the field so uh, to take my belt, leather belt off and take all that other stuff off uh, yeah I can do it but for me this is just quicker and easier for me uh, to each his own so whatever is easier for you guys but I decided just to make this and uh, put it in this little kit here. I used to use the kit like this here. Um, the reason why this piece of wood is down there, it acts as a riser and I can, instead of holding on to the stone like this, which is kind of a pain when you're sharpening uh, a pocket knife or something, um, it's kind of small, so I just, I put it in there like that and it rises the stone up above the tin here just enough to where I can uh, sharpen a pocket knife or whatever like that here and then use it that way. It used to fit in here fairly snug but after a few uses the tin had stretched a little bit so it doesn't fit in there very well. Uh, same with the piece of leather here. You use it the same way but I found that it was a lot easier just to take the leather strop to the blade and do it that way. So, yeah. So that's it. It works for me. Um, I pretty much just use this kit to keep the edges somewhat sharp on my knives. Uh, then when I come home, I'll break out my Japanese water stones and I will give them a proper sharpening with the Japanese water stones. But for now, it's nice little kit nice and compact. I can use the tin to make char cloth and I'm sure it has a lot of other uses as well but it uh, doesn't weigh very much and it fits in the haversack uh, very nicely. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, as always thanks for watching and subscribing. I greatly appreciate it and I will see you guys on the next one.